Howdy folks, welcome to the 3D Sapiens Roadshow. Alright, this is about take three for this part. Alright, um, so I just finished on the last one going down this stump over here. There's a smaller stump that suffices for other things as well, which I'll show you here in a minute. But I was talking about the amenities of this place, um, and with the basics that I've got, which uh, my caddy and then that... It, the equipment box is like things for the show, clothes and whatnot, props and whatnot. Um, then the equipment box, food box, water bottles, pots and pans, and then the MacGyver box with screws, nails, washers, straps, um, also the gold panning pan which can also be a sink, it can also be a frisbee for playing with Mr. Bigfoot. Um, <laughs> extra towels, extra bags, and so on. And it's also going to be a tripod here in a, in a moment, which is what this was all about. Okay, so... Aside from the uh, fun that we can do with the rappelling here, I'll be showing you the whole obstacle course here in a moment. Um, as well as guitar, this is a great place to practice because you can experiment with things, the songs that you don't play that often, um, really belting it out and so on. And when I play, it tends to be quite a bit like exercise. So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, in, in the car, which is basically like a Swiss Army knife, giant Swiss Army knife, clothesline, um, which I will be doing a separate thing on clothesline humor. You can see the rope there going up. Okay. Um, so, aside from free wood all over the place, I just found this up here a little while ago. So, there's wood all over the place. Um, running cold and cold water. And I've got dirty dishes down in the sink there, you can see. This thing will zoom in. That we're not zooming in today. Yeah, there we go. A little bit. Anyway. Okay, so, um... With this little bit here, oh, and then on the back side of this is stuff for collecting recyclables, aluminum, bottles, plastic, some bags, tools, whatnot. Um, the best cover that I found for all of this is a sheet. That way it can be a tablecloth and cover the whole thing. That way if you get sap or dirty or just whatever on the stuff, you know, you can... Um, you can just throw the sheet in the wash, and it's a lot easier than tarps and whatnot. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the basics right there. Now, um, as far as amenities of this camp, continuing here. Okay, so aside from the rappelling and the water, um, there was a chipmunk just chirping a minute ago, but that's our alarm system. If I hear a chirp, 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 there's somebody coming. If it's a chirp, 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 there's somebody with dogs coming, so. Um, but anyway, so one of the uh, fun things that you can do here is a form of obstacle course, you could call it. Uh, some things that I've put together for working on balance and stuff when you can't skateboard and whatnot. Um, because balance can be just as important as, as muscles and, and general exercise that people tend to forget. So, um... Let me uh, give you a little taste here, and then we'll go for a stroll. I'm going to set this up so that you can see that way. As I mentioned a minute ago, this thing is going to substitute as a tripod. I can set it down here. Okay, stay. Good camera. All right, are we good? Can I give it to you? Last time I did this, it turned into a pause. Okay, so down we go. Here we go. Again, this is just like part of the exercise routine, right? the hardest part. Stopping in the middle is the hardest part.
Alright, so let's continue and see if I can pick this thing up without hitting the wrong button. Alright. So if we're just general balance, can't beat that. But um can walk around some more. If you've seen the other video that I did, well one of the videos I did down here I believe. Uh, one of the first Nelda Grove videos. I repelled off of this stump right over here. I was camped in a spot. Subaru was right there. So there's this crossing right here too, and then there's a couple ways of doing this to make it interesting. And again, my shoes, <laughs> my preferred shoes are skate shoes. They're flat, I can feel everything. It's kind of like moccasins, I suppose, like modern day moccasins where you can really feel things, your toes, or climbing shoes also, but <laughs> climbing shoes wear out a little too fast. But anyway, so, um, oh wow, somebody built a little Stonehenge art there. Um, anyway, so walking across on rocks, boulders, doo -doo -doo, boom, 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 jumping, boom, boom, boom. Um, So you can climb up this tree stump here without much work at all. Let me see if I can do this without screwing up the thing. Uh, hold on. I need to put the camera down. I can't do this with one hand tied up. Whoa, okay, so that's one way to do it. All right, we're still running. Someday soon I'll get a GoPro, but in the meantime, I'm pushing the limits with this camera. Uh, I have to be careful looking over the edge here, but um, you can see the campsite there, and the colors are just astounding. All right, so continuing on with our little course. Whoa, all right. Now you can either cross back over here or you can continue up. This parallels the main trail that goes up to Big Buck. And you cut off over here. Doesn't look like a trail, does it? So far, by the way, I have not found any poison oak. So that's good news. Anyway, so here's the tree opposite the camp, which can also be climbed. But uh, that's probably enough climbing for now. We're back at the balance tree. This is what I was going up and down. Whatever over here. And this log is moving around way too much for my comfort. And ta-da, back at the campsite. So just running around like that, climbing up and down things. Um, and that leads to a final amenity. This is probably all gonna make you a little hungry. So um, one of the trees I talked about in the intro to this campsite thing here is actually an apple tree. That little one over there is an apple tree too, right there. But this is an apple tree. See in there? I'm gonna climb up here a little bit. Uh, okay, unfortunately most of these guys are still small. They get a little bit yellower, and even with the tinge of red. Um, let me see if I can do something like that one right there. It's got nailed by a bird or something. So the birds have discovered some of these. 
Oh well. Yeah, see that one's been nailed. How about this one? Okay. It's a little soft. I mean small, but um, not soft. The opposite of soft. Small. But it'll do. So basically, um, you got a whole tree, and there's a bunch more up there. I just can't really climb up there with the camera at the moment, but, um... So, um... Oh, I remembered there's one other thing. It's part of the whole exercise thing. Now, before I do finish with this apple, I need to make sure I'm stretched pretty good, because what I'm about to do if you're not stretched, if you can't do it, it can cause problems. So don't do this if you can't stretch well. Okay, so another one of the amenities right up there with the exercise thing. This stump over here, which I've also climbed up. You can do stuff, you can whatever. This is actually would be a good training tree for rappelling because the rope could go straight from there over to here and somebody could just rappel off the back side. But if you see this uh, stick right here, I set it at this height for a reason. There's stick. There it is, right? Okay, so there's that stick there. And, um, let's see, which angle do I want to do this? I guess like this. The only problem here is it's kind of a sandy bottom, but, okay, so, um, I can do that with the left too, but that's probably enough for now, so there's also that little target thing, as far as the exercise goes, and the whole stretching thing goes with the balance, and muscles, and all that, so, okay, um, so, um, to wrap it up here, let me get to this, Apple. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do out here in Elder Grove. There's a whole bunch of things to do. Beautiful place. A lot of amenities, as I say. Including free food. Hmm. For a little guy, I'm not tart. Anyway. So I'm going to sign off here and finish my apple. <laughs> and I um, hope you guys make it out here and enjoy nature. Adios.